We're going to process the image we've generated with FBPP. Before anything else, we're going to rotate it. To do this, we scroll down to the Geometry category and open Fast Rotation. We want to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Rotating the image invalidates the astrometric solution, so we need to calculate it again using Image Solver. We've already got all the settings from the previous astrometric solution, so all we need to do is run the script. We know that the image has an astrometric solution again because we can see the equatorial coordinates in the pixel readout. Now we can calibrate the color. To do this, we're going to open SPCC, which is in the Favorites category. In this image, we used the C-Star light pollution filter. Although the camera has a Sony sensor, in SPCC, we need to select the filter, which is the C-Star S50LP. First, in the R dropdown, then the G, and finally the B. Now, we select this area as a sky background reference. There's a strong linear relationship between the red and green channels, but when we use this filter, the graph comparing the green and blue channels will always be a point cloud because we're sampling the same wavelength in the two channels. This graph is therefore normal. After calibrating the color, we always need to reapply the auto stretch. And remember, it's extremely important to link the RGB channels so as not to destroy the color calibration we've just done. This is our nebula, which shows the oxygen-3 and H-alpha balance referenced against the colors of an average spiral galaxy. Remember, our image is still linear, so now we have to delinearize the image. We'll do this using Histogram Transformation, which is in the Favorites category. The easiest way to delinearize is to copy all the STF settings over to the Histogram window. If we use the horizontal zoom to get a closer look at the histogram, we can see both the shadows adjustment and the midtones adjustment. And if we turn on track view, we can see the image histogram and the histogram it will have after delinearization. We need to be very careful with this image because we have dark areas and we don't want to clip the shadows of those dark areas, which could be below the histogram peak. We should proceed carefully and make a slight adjustment to the shadows clipping. If we want to view it in real time, all we need to do is disable the STF and open the real-time preview. This makes it easier to adjust the lighting level. For this image, around here is good. We close the real-time preview, and before we apply the histogram transformation, we need to disable the STF. If we don't, the result will be a completely blank image because we've stretched it twice, once with the STF and once with histograms. If this happens, all we need to do is disable the STF. Here we have our delinearized image. Finally, we're going to adjust the overall image contrast using Curves Transformation, which is also in Favorites. This tool also has a real-time preview, as well as a Track View button so we can see the image histogram. We can use Curves Transformation to darken the shadows slightly and increase the overall brightness of the image so that it has more contrast. We can also increase the color saturation using the S-curve. Once we're happy with the settings, we can close the real-time preview and apply the process to the image. Here is the finished image. 
To sum up, to process this image in FBPP, first we loaded the lights and activated Drizzle. After executing FBPP, we rotated the image with fast rotation, then recalculated the astrometric solution using Image Solver. Then we calibrated the color with SPCC using the C-Star light pollution filter curves. Finally, we delinearized the image with histogram transformation and adjusted the contrast and color saturation using curves transformation. And here is the final result.